For the longest time, I've wanted to go out in the wild and catch fish out of the local creeks and rivers to see just what's in there and also to collect some fish from my aquariums to breed. I've got some traps here and you can get these from like the service station. I got this one from the servo. I got this one from Kmart. We've also got some cat food here. There was a few different like flavors, kind of weird, but like we've got sardine and prawn and hopefully that would be like more of like a fish favorite. We're gonna be using these cat crunchies. We'll stick them into like the little bait compartments, chuck them in for a few hours and we'll see what fish we've got. Looks like this is like the rope that you tie onto a tree trunk or something. Let's just rip this open. <laughs> Sardines, all right. I'm just gonna grab like a pinch of them and chuck it in there. Maybe we need even more. And then you just zip it up. And that's basically it. The fish are gonna swim into this hole. So they just get stuck in there and then they can't find their way out. And they try and eat the cat crunchies through the net. And then we'll catch our fish. Do this next trap. It's a different trap, so I don't know if it'll be as um, effective because it's not like tapered in. Maybe a bit more and zip it up. That's literally all you need to do to catch fish. And now we're gonna go chuck these in the creek. I can actually already see fish here. Just like that, and then tie it to like a rock. So it doesn't go away anyway. <laughs> hey, look at this. There's like a fish here. And this is like, actually still alive, reach, reaching in the end of its life, but you can see its skills are still flared up, still wriggling a bit. I'm not sure what type of fish that is, but it's definitely a native. Hopefully we'll be able to get it back, but we're just gonna chuck that in there and that's it. So now we're just gonna go chuck one more trap in another spot and we're just gonna wait like maybe two or three hours and then I'll come back and check them. Okay, so we've just collected our catch from the nets. Trap number one, which was the green trap that I got from Kmart, um, got everything but one single fish, which was in the other blue trap from the service station. And I don't think it's as good of a design as the green trap, which is probably why it didn't catch as many fish. It was also in a slightly different location, so there's many factors there to take into consideration. But we do have our fish here and we're going to put them in a little clear tub now and have a closer look and see exactly what kind of cool things we did catch. After placing our catch in a tub, it's clear that there's quite an array of species. It appears the star of the show is these long-armed prawns. These I found super cool looking and very interesting to watch. Among the rather interesting prawns are two other varieties of fish the noxious mosquito fish, and a few purple spotted gudgeons. It's so awesome being able to catch these species from my own country and watch them from only a few centimetres away. Sadly, because my fish room is not ready for fish yet, I decided to release them. All except the noxious mosquito fish, that is. These should never have been in the wild in the first place. 